Hello everybody, my name is Reverend Dr. Wright. I have a very simple question I would like you to answer. How do you feel about the high unemployment rate, the extremely high amount of Americans that are dependent on government programs, <clears throat> and the lack of jobs in this country? How do you feel about the fact that veterans are coming home to find out that they're homeless? How, how do you feel about the fact that millions of Americans are losing their homes uh, for the simple fact that they can't find work? And how do you feel about the fact that children in this country are going hungry? And are you willing to take part in the solution to this problem? We all know that poverty is spreading across this nation. This nation is, is on a path to becoming a third world nation at the current rate. The, the simple answer to that is to create jobs. We cannot expect the government to do that for us. As a matter of fact, the government is cutting government programs, as we all know, uh, thanks to the news, that the EBT program is being cut, and that is taking food uh, out of the mouth of children. Uh, many people will say, well, it's only a couple of dollars, uh, but that couple of dollars can buy a turkey or a ham where you can get two, three meals out of it. The ham, if you make pea soup with it, you can, you can stretch that ham into possibly five meals for a family of four. And so, yes, it is taking food out of the mouths of needy families and their children. There's countless families that are going homeless because they can't find work. I heard a story from a veteran that's down in Orlando <clears throat> that's living out of his vehicle uh, because he can't get government assistance. Someone give him food stamps or any kind of help. And he says, the only thing that gives him hope is the fact that uh, he's giving children in, in, the, in the campgrounds hope, and he plays his guitar for them. What I'm, what I'm trying to do through cleaning up poverty is create a business uh, to, which in turn will create jobs to help these people. Um, obviously, it will start in my community and hopefully expand into other communities and eventually nationwide. It's going to be in the janitorial industry, uh, considering I know the industry inside and out. I have experience in the field as well as in the operations of the of a business in that industry, considering I was an executive of a janitorial company on Long Island, New York for three years. So I'm very secure in myself that I can run the business successfully. Uh, I just need assistance in acquiring the funds to make it a reality. And that's where I'm going to ask you for your help. Um, now, I'm tired of seeing people suffer. I've seen it my whole life. I grew up in a poor family. I'm the oldest child of seven. And I was working, you know, since I was a young kid, working side jobs trying to help my mom make ends meet and make sure there's enough food in the house. And I actually wouldn't eat uh, anything and you know, I knew my brothers and sisters and had their food first. Uh, when I was 16, I was on my birthday and looking for a full-time job and came home with one the same day. Um, and I helped out anybody any which way I can. And it really bothers me hearing all these stories to this day of the amount of people across this country that are suffering unnecessarily for the simple fact that, that jobs just don't exist. Uh, whether they lost their job and they can't find a new job, or they're you know, younger people that invested a lot of money in, in college education and now they can't find work because they're uh, now being told that they're overqualified. Um, 
and I'm hoping to uh, help put an end to that. Obviously, I'm only one person. I can't uh, create jobs overnight for everybody in the country, but I can create jobs for a few people, and then the more I, the, the company grows, the more people that can be employed. I would also like to see a trend started uh, amongst other entrepreneurs to see that they, by initiating their idea, it just might work, and through their idea working and their business growing, they'll be able to hire people and put people back to work. I would also like to see a trend started with the larger, more well-established businesses uh, find ways inside their business to create jobs. People can only take so much. and I, I truly care about people. I have a passion for helping people. And that's one of the reasons why I became a pastor. Because <clears throat> I enjoy helping people. And I would like to help people stay in their homes or get back into a home. And I like to help children stay fed by helping their parents afford the food to feed their children by creating jobs. If the goal is not met, any funds that do come in will go towards um, equipment and basic supplies to at least get the business started. Uh, and we'll, we'll go from, and the business will go from there between you know, whatever business we can get from what we can start with, as well as continuing to raise funds and keep on acquiring the additional equipment. Well, we will be able to start with something, even if the goal is not met. Uh, all that I'm asking you to do is to donate just one dollar to the cause. One dollar will ensure that a family is receiving a weekly paycheck to help cover their bills, stay in their home, and stay fed. Or if they became homeless, to get back into a home and feed themselves and their children. If you were unable to make a monetary donation, you can still help the Cleaning Up Poverty Project uh, by spreading the project across social media, whether you use Facebook or Twitter or Google+, LinkedIn, or any other kind of social media, just spread the word. Uh, show this video to your family, friends, and coworkers. Um, spread the link. Uh, via email and the social media to the uh, Pending Up Poverty Project page. If you're watching this video via YouTube, the link will be in the description section of the video. If you're watching this video via my website, the link w is down below in the description area. If you're watching this video on the project page, <clears throat> the button to donate is on the sidebar on the right hand side of the page. And all I'm asking is just one dollar. A limited number of people are being offered um, discounts for different cleaning services and anybody who lives outside of the service area will be repaid in full but you have to provide your contact information so I can inform you of when you can expect your repayment. And if you live in the side, inside the service area, when uh, I'll, I'll be available to come down and you know issue the services you know, as promised at the discounted price. And I'm asking you to, to please help me make this a reality. The suffering in this country is growing at an astronomical rate. The amount of people that are growing dependent on these government programs are growing to an outrageous number. And now they're talking about cutting programs. Uh, the food stamps have already been cut. 
and despite the fraud that's going on inside these programs, there are still countless millions of Americans that are being affected by these cuts, where there is literally food being taken out of their mouths, and there are literally children that are going hungry because of this, and because of the, of the lack of jobs out there for their parents to get. Now, I already have people that I've spoken to that are willing to work once the business is open um, and operational. All I'm asking you to do is donate just one dollar to help make this uh, project a reality and help spread the word. If you truly want to see an end, an end to poverty, if you truly want to see an end to, to dependency on these government programs, if you truly want to see America return to the great nation that she once was, please help the Cleaning Up Poverty Project, either monetarily or otherwise. If you don't have the funds available to help out the project financially, as I said, you can help the project by spreading the word. Share the link to the project page everywhere. Again, if you watched on YouTube, the link is in the description area from my website. The link is down below the video. If you're on the, the product page, uh, there are buttons available uh, to, to share the page via Twitter, uh, Facebook, and, uh, and your email. <coughs> Please, make sure this product, the work of this product is out there. I know this business will be a success because, I, as I said, I, I'm a former executive of a small janitorial company from Long Island, New York. I have experience in the field. I have the knowledge of how to operate the business. And I'm pretty secure in myself that I can run the business successfully. And I'm doing this for the people. I'm trying to do everything that I can to help end unnecessary suffering in this country. I'm trying to do what I can to give hope to the people. And I'm trying to create jobs in America for Americans. It is time to stop exporting these jobs overseas. And it is time to stop getting rid of jobs that are deemed unnecessary and unimportant. Once upon a time, there was not one job that was that wasn't uh, uh, unavailable. That was un that, yeah, that wasn't available to Americans. Americans did everything. We manufactured our own products in this country. Everything we we grew in this country, we ate ourselves. We didn't export to other countries only to import the same thing that, that they grew from their country. We did it all, all ourselves. We were an, an independent country. And it's about time we go back to that. And that's what I'm attempting to do with this project. Open a business and create jobs and set a trend across this country where established businesses create jobs inside their businesses to hire people that are in need of work. Entrepreneurs to go out there and take a chance and possibly uh, be successful enough to, to hire people and create jobs for people that, that need the work. And for me to be able to create jobs for people that need work in my area and expand out as the business grows. I'm asking you to please help me end the poverty in America and the, the children going hungry in America. I appreciate that there's organizations out there that are helping other countries, but we can't even begin to help other countries when we have the same problems in our own backyard. It is time that we look at our own backyard and realize that we have children going hungry in our own country. We have people in need of work in our own country. We need job creation in our own country. And that's what cleaning up poverty 
is attempting to do. And I'm asking you to please help me make this a reality, to please help me create jobs for Americans, and to please help me ensure that American children can stop going to bed hungry. It's unnecessary. It's for no reason. There's no reason at all why Americans have to lose their homes. Why Americans have to be dependent on government programs. And why children have to go to bed hungry. I grew up in a situation where food was scarce and it was a constant threat of us losing our home. I know what it's like being a child growing up in that situation. And that's one of the reasons why I became a pastor. So I can try to help people get out of that situation and to try to prevent that situation from arising in families that aren't yet in that position, in that situation. And I'm trying to do everything in my power to make that happen. I'm trying to do everything in my power to make sure people can return to work, can stay in their homes, and they've already lost their homes to get back in a home, and to end children going hungry in our own backyard. So please, if you're watching this via YouTube or via my website, please click on the link to the project page and, and consider making a simple donation of just one dollar so that a family can have a, a weekly paycheck coming in so they can keep a roof over their heads and keep food in their stomachs as well as their child's stomachs. Please help me end poverty in this country. And please help me end unnecessary suffering in this country. Please help me make it possible for veterans coming home to have jobs to come home to. Please help me make it possible for veterans that are currently homeless to be able to find work and get back into a home. This is, this is America. And it's about time that America once again looks like America. Again, if you're watching this via YouTube or my website, please click on the link to the project page. Read the description about the project and consider making a donation. And please share this to all of your social media accounts. Share the link via your email. Share it with your family and your friends and your coworkers. And if you're on the project page, please utilize the share buttons to share this project everywhere. And please consider making a monetary donation to the project. The only thing standing between a family staying well fed and staying in their homes and that same family losing their home and that child going hungry is your assistance. That's it. Your assistance is all that stands keep the, the, your assistance is the only thing that will keep these families in their homes and keep them fed and put families that are homeless back into a home. Your assistance is the hope that these families need. Your assistance is the answer to these families and these children's and these veterans' prayers. So please, any, any way you can, whether it's monetarily or simply by spreading the word, any way you can, you can help this product, please do so. Again, my name is Reverend Dr. Red. The name of the product is Cleaning Up Poverty. I'm asking you to please help me put an end to poverty in this country and unnecessary suffering in this country. I make a monetary donation of just one dollar to put a family back to work and back into a home and to end a child's suffering and going to bed hungry every night.
And please spread this. Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, and any other social media that you have. Let's make cleaning up poverty a reality. And let's end the suffering once and for all in this country. As an individual, I cannot do it for myself. But as a nation, we can do it together. As one nation, under God, we can accomplish this. We can end poverty in this country. We can end unnecessary suffering in this country. But we have to work together. So please, click on that donate button. Donate just a dollar. And then click on the share buttons and share this on all the social media. And let's make this a reality. Let's be the answer to these families' prayers. Thank you. God bless.